In the intricate tapestry of the human experience, few threads are as vivid and poignant as the contrasting hues of victory and defeat. Winning and losing are elemental facets of our existence, shaping the contours of our lives and influencing the narratives we weave. Whether on the battlegrounds of competition, the arenas of personal relationships, or the corridors of individual pursuit, the dichotomy between triumph and failure is an ever-present force. As we embark on this exploration of winning and losing, beyond the surface level of the thrill of victory and the pure agony of defeat lies a rich tapestry of emotions, lessons, and personal growth. The pursuit of success often entails navigating the valleys of setbacks. Huge shot right here. Ooh. Fox has it. Give it. Let's see if they... Monk. To tie it. Shot. It was tough. You know, uh, we had a hell of a season. You know, we went through that stretch and we lost those games. And everybody, tried, everybody talked about, you know, how we looked like we didn't care. And, you know, this isn't the locker room that looked like the guys don't care. <laughs> I love my brothers, man. Pinson with five. Looks up. Driving in, May for the win! North Carolina with .3 seconds to go! An incredible shot! Yeah, the shot just playing back and forth in my head is, is going to be difficult to get over, but I know I got to. How about that kid, the way he has played, the chain of events. And I'm not believing either one of them. Uh, First Monk, and then May. And they are dancing on Franklin Street right now. Winning brings about a rush of happiness and fulfillment. It's not just about the victory itself, but the culmination of effort, dedication, and sometimes even a bit of luck that led to success. When you win, your brain releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. This flood of dopamine creates feelings of euphoria, boosting your mood, self-esteem, and confidence. Winning validates hard work, determination, and skill, creating a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. On the flip side, losing can evoke deep emotional pain and agony. Losing represents a failure to achieve a desired goal, leading to feelings of disappointment, frustration, and even sadness or anger. Losing triggers the brain to release stress hormones like cortisol, contributing, contributing to feelings of anxiety and stress. For some, the agony of losing can be intensified by the effort invested the expectations placed upon oneself, or the significance of the loss in a personal or professional context. The one thing that everyone can relate to is winning and losing. Everyone has won and everyone has lost. The only thing that is different is the scale of them. The one thing that increases the scale of a win or a loss is what's at stake. Let me give you an example. Objectively, it is worse to lose at your favorite sport than it is a coin flip because you care about winning at something you're, you think you're good at and something that you care about. Who cares about a coin flip? You want to win the basketball game. But if the coin flip was for a million dollars, and the basket and the bo basketball game was just a random pickup game, then who cares about the basketball game? All you didn't care about is the coin flip. 
All that to say, what is at stake is what adds to the emotion of winning and losing. You either rise to the occasion and win, or you fail to rise and you lose. You either feel the thrill of winning or the agony of defeat. We all have a goal or had a goal that we wanted to achieve. A goal that no matter how hard it was going to be to achieve, we were willing to put in the effort and the work. A goal that would mean everything to accomplish. A goal that would not only make yourself proud, but your whole family proud. A goal that took everything out of you to accomplish, and you did. You did accomplish that goal, and you put in the effort. You put in the work that make you proud and your family proud. Now imagine in another universe where you did the same amount and failed. You lost. With every winner, there is a loser who put in the same amount of work or more who lost. That's the worst part. Sometimes it doesn't matter how hard you work. You are destined to fail destined to lose. Maybe the other person was just more talented, or they had more connections, or they had more resources. Whatever it was, it didn't matter. They won, and you lost. That will do it! And still, the best welterweight in the world! Take you what from who? And there is a new record holder for the longest winning streak in UFC welterweight history, Kamaru Usman. You know what it is, man? You know. That's what we do. That's what we do. Put some respect on my neck. That's what we do. Still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. I can only imagine this is very emotional for both guys. Happy it's over. And uh, hope they rebuild whatever gap may have been caused in the build up to this fight. But the great thing about losing is the chance to come back, the chance to win. The redemption arc is the best arc in all of movies. Anakin Skywalker, Rocky Balboa, Walter White, and many more. That's what makes life so great is the ability to win and lose and the ability to come back and win after losing. Losing is harder than winning and losing, while it may be initially perceived as a setback, it carries hidden lessons and opportunities for growth. In the face of defeat, we often discover resilience, adaptability, and profound understanding of our strengths and weaknesses. Embracing the lesson from, from loss can be a stepping stone towards future success and winning, guiding us to refine our strategies and fortify our determination. This inevitability aspect of the human journey teaches us a valuable lesson about perseverance, humility, and the importance of embracing challenges. Winning is very important to me, and the dynamic of with a winner there has to be a loser, and how much the outcome can psychologically affect people is very intriguing to me. Those two outcomes are not the end-all be-all. Winning and losing are inherent aspects of life, but they should not be the sole determinants of one's identity. The journey of self-discovery is far more nuanced and complex than the outcomes of individual events. While winning may bring a sense of accomplishment and validation, it is crucial to recognize that success is often temporary and does not encapsulate the entirety of a person's character. Similarly, losing should not be viewed as a, as a reflection of one's worth or capabilities. Mistakes and setbacks are integral parts of growth and learning. True self-worth transcends the fleeting moments of victory or defeat. It lies in the ability to preserve, learn from experiences, and continuously evolve as an individual. The richness of character is built through resilience, empathy, and the capacity, capacity to adapt in the face of challenges. Ultimately, it is the journey and lessons learned along the way that shape who we are rather than the isolated incidents of winning or losing. Winning and losing also have a completely different watching dynamic. Watching someone lose at the biggest thing in their life is very difficult, while watching someone win is fun and joyful. It is human nature to be happy when you see others happy, 
So when you s see someone in life win a moment at the pinnacle of what they do, it is almost impossible not to crack a smile. While watching someone lose at the pinnacle is heartbreaking and it is hard not to feel their pain, especially when they show how much it meant to them. Particularly during the game, but can you talk to us about your emotions as you're taking that final lap around the field and kind of what you're feeling right now? Whew, um, can't believe it's over. It's uh, been a wild ride. <clears throat> Jalen, what happened out there tonight? It seemed like shots didn't go down early, then the defense slipped, and shots still didn't go down, and then turnovers. Just what happened personally? What happened with the team? Uh, we, <clears throat> we fell. I fell. Oh, man, we let the we let the whole city down. You haven't been, you guys haven't been able to get the amount of offensive rebounds and loose balls that you were in the in the Cleveland series. Just what have they done, uh, maybe to, to kind of beat you at your own at your own game almost? Uh, just uh, maybe they wanted more. I don't know. I don't care uh, that it's going to say two interceptions. You know, I really don't. It's just like I ain't quit. So I think that I think I think that that um, doing it with so many guys over, you know, 14 years and, and going to the locker room, win or lose, and I can say, that gum, we're short, we fell, we fell short, but, or we won, you know? Uh, but shoot, I, I couldn't try it any harder. In conclusion, the intricate dance between winning and losing is an inseparable part of the human experience. Transiting the realm of sports and competition to weave its narrative into the very fabric of our lives. It is within the crucible of victory and the crucible of defeat that we forge the essence of resilience, preservation, and self-discovery. As we navigate the unpredictable waters of success and failure, let us not forget that each outcome bears the potential for growth and enlightenment. Winning may bring accolades and triumphs, but it is, is, it is in the face of defeat that we often unearth the seeds of profound transformation. The journey of self-improvement is an arduous one, illuminated by both the glow of victory and the shadows of loss. Ultimately, it is the, not the thrill of victory nor the agony of defeat that defines us, but rather how we choose to respond to these inevitable facets of life. In the symphony of achievement and setback, let us cultivate a mindset that embraces the wisdom gleaned from both triumphs and tribulations. For in the ebb and flow of winning and losing, we uncover the true essence of our character and the resilience that propels us forward on the continuum of personal and collective success. <laughs>